This video is brought to you by Aura. Take a look at these comments. Do they seem strange to you? They're all random internet facts that have nothing to do with each other or the video that they're being commented under. And the video itself is of two Roblox characters doing something really inappropriate. I can't say, obviously, use your imagination. Now next, listen to this audio right here. P. J. Van den Wildenberg, P. and Hommel. Sounds like a AI voice is reading over some scientific research abstract, right? Well, it's actually a cover-up for a channel where a guy is recording women sitting on a bed with camera pointed at their feet for 20 minutes straight as they move their feet in really weird provocative poses. All of these techniques are bypassing the YouTube terms of service and making this website full of filth. And worst of all, all of these videos are not age-restricted and children are able to watch them. This is not the site that I grew up on and there's no way in hell I'm letting my future kids on this platform and if nothing changes, you shouldn't either. Something different about this video compared to my last right here, I will not be censoring the names of any YouTube channels that I'm mentioning. I know you guys are gonna find the channels regardless, like you usually do in every comment section, so I'll make it easier on you. Plus, I have zero reason to cover up for any of these people making filth content on this platform, and they're making it a public issue to begin with, so I'm not gonna kind of hide their secret for them. This is public, channels are gonna be down below somewhere, you can find them. Here's the problem. YouTube is running on a terms of service that hardly takes into account the intention or the hidden truth of a video's purpose. It looks purely at each video at a surface level and nothing more. Oh. It's just an educational breastfeeding video. Or it's a chiropractor just cracking some girl's back where she's half naked and showing the camera directly on her butt. Let's dive into the most disgusting of all the problems, Roblox P. There's actually a ton of channels making these weird animations in Roblox, clearly depicting characters and poses where they're they're doing really not safe for work stuff. Use your imagination, I can't say it. I don't wanna get demonetized and make a living off of this shit. We see that in the thumbnails of these Roblox uh, videos, that there's a female avatar bent over with a male avatar standing upright behind her with his hands up and hearts all over the screen. I'm sure anybody with a peanut sized brain or the IQ of a toaster oven can tell what's actually going on here, but no, the YouTube algorithm can't. Perfect. 307,000 views in only five days where the channel only has 24,000 subscribers. Where are these viewers coming from? This makes no sense. Look at the comment section of these Roblox P videos. You see stuff like, grass is a type of plant with narrow leaves. Uh, plants in a grass family have narrow leaves. The capital of uh, Yukon is White Horse. The only explanation that I can think of is that the owner of this channel actually made a bunch of fake other channels where he starts to comment random internet facts and paragraph under his video to make it seem like there's nothing going on here. Look, everyone just talking about scientific internet uh, random educational things, and this actually might be bypassing YouTube's age restriction checks to make the algorithm think that this is just a safe to watch video and it's actually working. Now, it gets worse, and I don't know what kind of freaky fetishes this channel is pushing out to little kids, but one video with 400,000 views is actually an animation, and I, I'm disgusted to even say this. It's an animation of three Roblox girls farting on a Roblox male character as he lays on the floor. Now, I, please don't clip that. And how about this channel here that has 10 million subscribers and posts sexually suggestive Roblox videos? I mean, one of the thumbnails even has a Roblox girl bent over for a guy on the bed and he has a chat box on his head saying, nice dance with 3 million views. I mean, these are the videos that you're making for children to watch. You're clearly making kids videos. Anybody can depict that instantly. How is your entire channel not demonetized? The question that I should be asking is, how do you even sleep at night? You have a predominantly child audience. You have a kid audience with 10 million subscribers making videos of a girl bent over on a Roblox bed. Are you serious, bro? The Minecraft section on this app is not any better. There is a dedicated channel that posts countless videos showing female Minecraft characters doing full on, know what I'm saying? But half the screen is just her face and the body is cropped out. So it's zoomed in at her face. You can see her facial expressions, her emotions, her body moving. You see all this stuff. Everyone knows what's going on here, but it's strange because the other half of the video is somebody, for an example, having a, a mallet and just beating raw meat on a table. I'm sure we can all come to our own conclusion what's actually going on here, but no, the YouTube algorithm can't like usual. And these videos are actually getting over 60,000 views. Can YouTube really not detect that the left side of the screen is quite literally cropped out P? The body isn't showing the movement, obviously, or the actual thing from happening, but you can see from the facial expressions it clearly what's going on here. It is so important for parents to have control over what their children are viewing online. Thankfully, today's sponsor Aura has some of the most in-depth parental controls possible. Aura alone locks your Experian credit file, it monitors nearly all of your personal information for fraud, and removes it from data 
brokers and people searching sites online. It screens calls before they even get to your phone using an AI powered call assistant. So you literally get zero spam calls. I've used it myself. This is phenomenal. With Aura, you can literally monitor what sites and apps your children use across nearly all of their devices. You can limit their screen time, pause their internet, and even get voice and text monitoring of their PC video games. You can actually get alerted if they're talking to a predator online, being scammed, or even being cyberbullied with a alert going directly to your phone as they scan the voice and audio and text being played on the screen. Aura is a service that my family actually uses. We're signed up using the link in the description down below. That's $29 per month for the entire family or just $12 for yourself. It's aura.com slash lucid for 14 days free trial. Check out Aura today. One thing that I cannot look over nor do I respect is I show speed. There are multiple live streams of him literally doing it live in Roblox, the kid's game, Minecraft, also a kid's game, and VR chat. And people just laugh it off because of his funny facial expressions and for the sake of him being an internet meme. Like, bro, how are you going to do it in a video game with 20,000 people watching you, you and a girl on a Roblox bed, and she's literally making the noises as if it was happening in real life? You have kids watching you that play these games that look up to you and you're literally glorifying Roblox P. But there's this one channel and it's always been creeping me out because it's so strange how it's being ran. There's one man that is recording a bunch of women. He like switches them out and alternates between the women for each video. He records them walking in public, pointing the camera obviously at the rear end and at their feet. He records them sitting at a park bench, at a curb of a sidewalk, inside their bedroom. And the strange part about it is, if you listen to these videos, I'm not saying to watch them because it's obviously, you know, sexually gratifying content, but the audio is not gratifying at all. Just take a listen to this. Failing the comfort and craftsmanship, exploring arch support in leather sandals and quote, it's like an AI voiceover playing some uh, brand new research article or some scientific papers about reflexology or physical therapy that have to do with feet. What's actually going on here is that he's tricking the YouTube algorithm with a really sophisticated title and you know talking about studies in the audio of the video as he's playing it over basically softcore pornography. And it's working. YouTube thinks, oh, this is just an educational video about physical therapy because that's what it sounds like. This channel is ran by a single person, like I've mentioned, by one man, and he's swapping out girls all the time. You can tell by the thousands of videos on his channel. There's literally the infinity of these videos. And one of the videos, he's handing the girl an Xbox controller. Or in some of the videos, he's actually talking and telling them how to position their feet and what to move with their body and stuff to be more sexually gratifying. The Patreon account isn't just one girl, even though it seems like it's being ran by one girl. It's many girls, and they're all being paid by this one single account. I'm not sure who this guy is that's running this entire ring of feet selling Latina women online, but he's a faceless man publicly profiting off of women on YouTube right now on the platform you're watching this video. People are posting straight up breastfeeding videos of them literally with, you know, like everything exposed up here, breastfeeding their, their newborn child. Like it's fully exposed. Uh, you can see literally everything directly on YouTube right now today with millions of views. Men are even commenting on this video like, hey, nice nice wreck on a breastfeeding video that's supposed to be educational. We all know what's going on here and so does the channel owner. They're getting millions of views. I know for a fact they're not all you know parents that are concerned on how they can breastfeed their child. It's actually men that have other motives involved. Chiropractors on YouTube that are doing adjustments on their clients that by the way have went to school, have degrees, have a actual medical license to practice in the USA that are making soft core pee out of their clients by inappropriately touching them and adjusting the lower back of a cheerleader and her the, the whole thumbnail is literally just her butt nothing else no back no nothing just literally her rear end the one that pissed me off the most out of everything that i've mentioned today is the yoga videos all right no that's it's not actual yoga it's shameless only fans girls doing fake yoga videos on youtube where they get in an anime made outfit clearly arousing the audience right and they bend over directly in front of the camera I mean, what the hell is this platform turning into? YouTube, stop being so naive. This is not a porn site. We have children here. Protect them. The CEO of YouTube, you have kids. You must protect them as well. There is no reason a child should be able to find fully topless women on your website for an educational breastfeeding video. I'm sick of it. This is starting to look like Twitch. And you guys get a new CEO for an example. It was Susan Wojcicki. Now it's Neil Mohan. Come on, man. Neil, come on, bro. I grew up watching YouTube as a kid. I found this platform to be great for my life. I've had great role models. I have learned so much. Matter of fact, I have learned more from YouTube than I have in all of my years in schooling, I swear to God. Do not let this crap content, this filth, this disgust on your platform diminish the plethora of knowledge that could be shared by YouTube.com. 
This website has so much to offer. Do not let it go to waste. And everyone that's still here, please, I literally just called out the CEO of YouTube. If he, I'm not sure if he's going to get mad and take down my channel or whatnot. So please support me on IamLucid.com to ensure that I can speak truth against all odds. I love you all so much. We're so close to 1 million subscribers, inshallah, very, very soon. I love you all so much. God bless you, your family. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.